Hello, my beautiful Libra friends. I'm trying to. I should have did this shit before. I, um. Anyway, <laughs> my name is Shay. Welcome back to Healing to Gold. I'm gonna pull some oracle cards and the spirit animal cards for you guys today to see what spirit has to say. Hope you guys having a beautiful day. Um, if you need any information in regards to a reading, you can check out the description box. I also have a second channel where most of you guys use readings will be posted, so you may want to subscribe there if this resonates and check out other videos over there as well. Um that may resonate and that may be highly aspect in your chart. This channel is more so for Pisces and Aquarius placements and general readings, but most of you guys' readings will be there. And I also post here, so, you know, fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Libra, or is this Scorpio? Yeah, I think this is Libra. Okay, Libra. Three cards. All right. Ooh. Okay. So you guys may have a lot to say. Someone may have a lot to say to you. I'm also getting the energy of communication with spirit. There's a need for you to get more of that or get grounded. Um, and then I got education at the bottom of the deck. So you guys may be studying something. Um, it, you could be studying, um, I'm seeing a dancer or something ancient, studying something that resonates with your spirit, something that you want to know more about. I do see a bird here. I think it's a swan. Nah, I'm lying. This definitely can't be a fucking swan. I don't know. Some of you guys may know what this bird is. Hold on. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all like that? Or do y'all like this i like that but anyway this bird you feel me him you can look that up and see what that means i also see like this moon it's not a full moon it's like a crescent moon or whatever or a waxing moon. i don't know shit and then i see 35 which means eight so it was my it reminds me of um infinity and being connected to a higher consciousness and connected to the um omniscient of the world and the universe higher consciousness i'm hearing but then I have ghost lands, magic prayer, and making choices. So with ghost lands, this is another eight. Um, it's reminding me of time. I'm hearing father time. I'm also hearing time traveling and something about going back in time. Can a cancer may be very significant because I'm seeing that zodiac sign here. Scorpio as well. But something about black and white being in the gray area. Um, I'm also hearing like back in the day, um, like old times. I don't know why I'm hearing 1980s, but I'm not sure if they were still doing black and white television back in. But anyway, I'm getting very ancient energy, an old energy, something about the moon. And connecting with the moon you may be doing moon rituals maybe learning more about the moon and astrology learning more about your past life and back in the day it's something about the 90s or ancient times is very significant when it comes to your style and your creativity and the way that you do things this says ghost lands so you may communicate with ghosts you may see ghosts or have seen ghosts in the past in the past or see them now you may be able to communicate with dead people or something about dead people dead people and communication i don't know why i'm hearing graveyard ritual i don't know what the fuck that's supposed to allude to so i don't know if you're participating in in that type of stuff or someone has tried to stop you doing that or someone has did that to I'm hearing a grandma. Somebody did that to somebody in your family. But something about the graveyard is definitely significant. Ghost lands. Ghost lands. Ghost lands remind me of um, like an abandoned building or an abandoned town or like an abandoned complex. Like something dead. I don't know why I'm hearing like something dead trying to come alive. Like you could be feeling dead and trying to find the life in something or someone may this could even be like a dead relationship that you're trying to pour some you know life into this could be a plan this could be a creative
project. This could be something that's dormant in your DNA that's trying to come alive, something you kept hidden, something buried. Aquarius may be very significant as well. Something about this Aquarius energy, this age, or your crown chakra. But infinity. I'm getting a lot of quiet energy off of this card. Like you may be very quiet or in order for you to function, you need quietness. I'm hearing be still or stillness. And then it says magic prayer so with magic prayer i feel like this is someone with a very powerful tongue like your have you ever heard the saying your tongue is a sword you have the power and people think like for example people who are in who are interested in learning about the occult right they say it's demonic and it's witchery but you don't understand that mostly everything you do on an everyday basis is fucking magic you lying to the lying to a person is a form of magic because you're using your words to shift their consciousness to think let's just say you uh asshole but you put on this front not you necessarily but it could be you or anyone and you put on this front this person put on this front like they this good outstanding person and they act like they just don't do no wrong the type of motherfucker who throw stones at you but then hide their hand you know what i'm saying the type of motherfucker who bite the hand that feed them you know what i'm saying that type of person um <clears throat> when you lie to someone to make yourself seem like you a good person and you're not or just anything like anything when it comes to you switch the consciousness of a person like me for example i would say a lot of people look up to me due to my intelligence and what i do and the gifts that i have so when i lie to people it's definitely karma for me is definitely on fleet because i understand that people look up to me i understand that people trust my advice i understand that i'm an oracle so when people come to me they look for me for it you know uplifting advice i'm not a liar i'm not gonna lie to you if i see something in the cards that ain't right i'm gonna tell you what's up if spirits say say it, i'm gonna say that shit and that's just what it is you know what i'm saying because had i lied to you you're gonna be thinking one thing and i have the power to shift your consciousness with what i tell you because if you are naive for example and you take tarot to the heart and you just at like the reading just supposed to resonate from the T when you don't understand, you know, I'm reading for thousands of people and tapping into a lot of people's energy. You got to understand something. Um, well, what, what I'm trying to say is you have to be mature enough to, to make this distinct. Uh, uh, are we in fucking retrograde or something? You have to be mature enough to make the um right distinguishment on uh, what you hear and if i'm talking to someone who, who isn't mature enough to understand that i have the power to switch their consciousness if i tell you do something and you don't take it and you take it as face value and do it then that karma is on me you know what i'm saying but that's a form of witchery that's a form of magic flipping tarot is a form of magic because spirit knows exactly what you need to hear when you need to hear it you know what I'm saying? Spirit knows who to guide you to, what pages and stuff to guide you to. You know what I'm saying? And spirit knows what cards need to come out in order for me to say what I got to say and project what it is I'm feeling off of that card to get you the message that you need. It's a form of magic. So magic prayer. I feel like you have a powerful tongue. I feel like you're the type of person that can get whatever they want. That's why I was hearing co-create with the universe. Like, I feel like you have a very magical power. And I just saw 909. Um, and I heard 12. 12. This is 32, which is 5, which means change. You have the ability to change, alter the state of consciousness of people. You have the ability to alter things when it comes to manifesting like, okay, there is a omnipotent universe, but you have your own s personal universe in your mind. That thing that you do, that pen that you have, that aura that you have to create your own, you know, space in your own universe and what it is you like and what you resonate with. 
you know what I mean? And you're very powerful when it comes to that. So be mindful of the things that you think. I'm hearing spiritual baths. Be uh, cognizant of the people that you keep around you. Something about your aura is very powerful and it needs to be protected. And it is protected. But magic prayer, you have the power to ask for things and they just appear right in your face. You feel me? And then I have making a choice. So, um, and then if I notice, this is a bridge. One side looks more like materialism and the other side looks more like consciousness. I'm not even going to lie. Both of them don't look that bad, though. I ain't even going to count. One side purple, one side like the, both, both of those are very high states of consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Both of them look... Um, so it seems as if you're moving into a point in your life where no choice would be a bad choice or spirit is saying that no choice was a bad choice. Even if you felt as if it was a bad choice, ultimately it was a lesson that you needed to learn out of making that choice. I do feel as if one side is more connected and tapped in into consciousness than the other side, but I feel like it's more so about balance and having that balance between your root and your crown chakra and also something about the in-between as well i'm getting in the heart chakra so staying balanced and keeping that heart center you know what i'm saying um aligned because i see a bird in the middle a bird on this side and then a butterfly and it's like they're exchange it's like an exchange of energy so Something about the exchange of energy between you and source, you and other people, something about your auric field is definitely um, popping here. And then I have number three. Three is definitely a um, number of creativity. So I'm just hearing co-creation and creativity, Libra. Like this is definitely um, a pretty cool reading. And then your sign rules balance. So being balanced. Um, being aligned and if you notice this pathway isn't a smooth pathway but eventually you get a choice to make and both of them are high vibrational choices this could be between two people i'm also getting the energy like i said earlier of time traveling because if you notice this is like time with this clock and then it's frozen here but this is like more so bright and the gates are open so coming out of this stagnant energy and being more open to life and being more op open to higher consciousness and um things that are are different being more open to looking into who you are you know what i mean but this is definitely significant before i leave i'm hearing the power of prayer even though this says magic prayer I'm hearing, ask for the things that you need and you will get them. You know what I'm saying? Don't be shy to invite spirit in your life. Don't be shy to invite um, higher, um, power, higher power in your life to help you. You can't do it all on your own. You feel me? I'm trying to make a thumbnail at this point. <laughs> but I love you guys and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.